What's up, Hot Makers? Welcome to Hot Makes right here on Hot Makes Live and wherever else you're watching this right now. <laughs> uh, probably a Jumbotron at a sports event, right? Yeah. That's where they stream like us it. these days. I like get I am uh, Jim from the Edge of Tech, also known as Nerdy J on this show. And this is, is blurry. I'm How blurry, apparently. Oh, you're no, I'm blurry. not blurry anymore. Hey, I'm Caleb. <laughs> I was blurry a second ago. You're, bl you're blurry Caleb? Is that? Yeah, I'm blurry that Caleb. Sure? That'll be my nickname now. Yeah, I like it. I well, welcome like it. everybody to a, another week of hot makes. Uh, we have a fun show for you. Awesome yeah. guest today, right, Caleb? Yeah, I'm super, super excited. Uh, we were talking before we uh, jumped on the show. Like I've been bugging him like crazy because I love, I love his work. I love his designs, and uh, I messaged him a few times until he finally like was like, ah, I got to talk to this idiot now. And like, <laughs> eventually, I was bugging him about some of my own designs. So. I'm really excited to talk to him. <laughs> now the truth comes out. The, it, he actually has a restraining order, but that's only in person. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it technically, doesn't count, technically uh... <laughs> because he's in Belgium and I'm in the U S technically mm -hmm. I'm following the 500 foot distance rule, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's funny. Well, uh, I mean, there goes my first question for him. You just answered it. So I'm just oh, sorry. That one. Sorry. Um, Fun fact, that's you know, my last that's where my last name is from. Ferris. Ferris is Belgian. Really? Mm hmm I like chocolate. That's Belgium. Uh okay, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's like being I'm from Germany. Ah, Germany. Yeah, I like Bratwurst. Like <laughs> uh you got everybody saying you they love your shirt. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's nice. I I, uh, um, I appreciate that. I wore it just because of the eclipse thing today. I don't know something. something that, that, did you go? Did you get out and see it? That's the question. I did. It it passed over Little Rock, um, <laughs> and I was at work, which is like thirty minutes southwest of Little Rock, but that's still like within the path. So, um, sure. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. It's it was super weird because I uh, my current job is on a um, it's a media company that's on a uh, 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 oh my goodness! What in the world? What's it called? Where do airplanes go? <laughs> Where? An airport. airport. There we go. Wow. An airport. I work for. I work Your for. Job a is on those one place that airplanes go. Yeah. Um, <laughs> all over the world. Yeah. Um, but uh, no, it was it was weird because all of the uh, the communications towers and the runway lights and everything kicked on in the middle of the day because it was so dark it triggered the like nighttime lights and stuff and it was yeah. super super weird and bizarre but it was super cool yeah i i saw totality in 2017 up here today it was only 90 percent totality so i love that movie yeah. i haven't seen that movie yet but yeah <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Well, uh, real quick, let's get some things. Um, if you want to check out any of the cool stuff we show later, links are in the description below. There is a lot of them today. Mm -hmm. uh, this show is sponsored by the Rocky Mountain Rep Rep Festival down in the corner over oh, that way. Sorry, I just um, accidentally covered up. Yeah, I see how it is right when I say <laughs> it. Uh, we are anyway, so this is my show now. I'm just going to. No, I'm kidding. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Less than two weeks, uh, it was uh, Saturday, would have been two weeks uh, that we will be opening up for the Rocky Mountain Rep Rep Festival. Loveland, Colorado, if you don't know about it, you should know about it. It's a free event if you get there. And I do have a video mm -hmm. on the Edge of Tech channel. Also, you can go to uh, rumorf.com. Uh, I believe there's a link in the description below. There should well. be. Also, the show is brought to you by Local Maker Michigan and the 1700 uh maker bricks he's tagged in the oh past two weeks so basically um, hot makes <laughs> is a maker brick like yeah it's maker brick show okay yeah that's, that's what it is yeah we just need um, a whole I, of, like, th this this week's hot bricks hot break we're gonna we're gonna have yeah. to um and we'll talk about that a little bit later if you're enjoying the show consider donating link in the description as well hey guess um, what's not in the description because i'm a terrible producer anything no, yeah, know. there's stuff in the description of uh, the Remurf <laughs> <laughs> website. I'm so oh, bad. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hot bricks. I like it. Uh, Rocky Mountain Rep Rep Festival says we are over 3,100 in general emission tickets. If everybody shows up, heck yeah, it's gonna yeah. be awesome. Um, I'm adding that now. Sorry, <laughs> I'm such an idiot. I love it. 
Also, uh, let's see. We have Super Chats enabled. And if you're watching and you have not subscribed on the Hot Makes channel, please do that. It helps out the channel. If you're watching on the Edge of Tech <laughs> channel, I think we're over there today. We are. If we are. The Edge of Tech channel. Come on over. The water's warm. Just come on over. There should be a Nightbot um, thing Don't. going on talking about <laughs> uh, the link to come over to the Listen, Hot channel. If I've you stayed in a few Airbnbs and a, and a few ho <laughs> hotels with Jim. If he says the water's warm, don't get any closer. <laughs> don't go. It, what? It's always a good time. Yeah. Um, you like come into the hot tub. Caleb's like, sweet, there's a hot tub. He jumps and there's just a bathtub. Uh, but the, anyways, <laughs> that would be funny if that happened. That would really, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bubbles, candles, all the things, you know. Um, but anyways, if you're on the Edge of Tech channel, please come on over to the Hot Makes channel. We love you to come on over there. Uh, all right. Anyways, so all that aside. I want to show. I, I got some. Did you get any pictures today? No, I. You. I mean, it's hard to without some sort of special. Yeah, this is a hot make, huh? There you go. Yeah, it's not very good. It's a little better. A little better. Hey, when I tried to take a picture with my phone, it was like a just a white blob. So. What? You're not supposed to take a picture with your phone sensor, man. You got to do it through the glasses. No, no, no. We so we had like 100. <laughs> percent so yeah. like so oh, like when, so it was, when you were 100 percent, yeah 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 Yeah, we were 100 percent. so when it was i'm saying that as i'm rubbing my eyes because i'm tired not because i burned my eye retinas right today. right <laughs> but no we were uh we were on 100 percent. so there was a there was a few yeah. minutes there where it just completely covered it up and it was okay to look at it without mm. glasses and that's when i tried right. to take a picture with the camera but it was still just a white blob mm. i couldn't get the iso down low enough huh could not that means it's it burning too, your eyes no, <laughs> I, hey, my coworker, my coworker is worried about the the glasses not being good enough or not being legit. And I was like, it's fine. You have two eyes. Just cover one eye and look at it. Yeah. So if it does burn <laughs> yeah. your eye, you still have the other one. Like, right. come on. I like it. I like that. Um, well, yeah, I grabbed these real quick with my phone. I had a lot of fun. We luckily uh, had some of those glasses out there. Um, I can see, so we're still good. We're still good. But we only got about ninety percent. Whoa, geez. 90% totality there. Um, you might and remove your screen before you start minimizing things. What I do? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what I did. Oh, I minimized the pictures. That's what you I did. Yeah. You, yeah. <laughs> Professionals here, folks. Professionals. Professionals. Yeah. Oh, I, whatever. I don't think there's anything bad on that anyway. No, there wasn't. Um, as I go look real quick. Uh, no, <laughs> definitely not. Um, there were anyways. pictures of us in the bath, but <laughs> yeah, everybody's seen those. That was, that was totality. Yeah, if you didn't want people um, to see those, we wouldn't have released that calendar last year. <laughs> I love it, but it was a lot of fun, man. I, I, yeah, yeah I'm, I should have gone down to like where you guys are or something, but uh, I had some yeah. friends from Indiana that came down. Uh, they were actually in Memphis for a tattoo convention and they were only about two hours away in memphis so they came and stayed with us last night that's why i'm so tired because i haven't seen them in years and they didn't get here until mm. like 10 30 so we wanted to chat but got it well i'm not tired um, i'm fine <laughs> i'm not tired you are yeah. you know what'll make us not tired our guest today yeah that's, let's bring him in gonna make, yep, yep. well let's uh get. i have a few things to open but i don't want to make him wait so oh I forgot about that. Uh huh. Uh huh. Um, Got some want, things you, that you came in. That? Or how about how, how about we bring them in and then open it? Sure, why not? I don't one know. of Let's them. One of them is kind of in a way related to him. So, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Mister the Crafty Maker himself, Kristoff. Hello, hey. sir. Hello, hello. <laughs> so it is. It is one a.m. where you are. I just want to make sure we take a second to uh, appreciate <laughs> that you stay up. <laughs> To be with us, my today. eyes are open. I know I'm over here complaining <laughs> that I'm tired, and you're. <laughs> yeah, he's like it's one, it, it's one uh, twelve, guys. Are you gonna bring me in so I can go to bed, or what's going? Yeah, on? <laughs> <laughs> you guys are on the stream. And just... <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, welcome, man. I, it's been it's been uh, awesome to have you on, or it is awesome to have you on, and I'm super pumped because I I have never met you in person before, and I only briefly talked to you before the show, so I'm I'm super excited to get to know you a little better and you know talk about what you do mm -hmm. um i think caleb already ruined it you're in belgium 
Um, yeah. <laughs> you, from what I remember, you have a cocoa press chocolate printer. Is that a thing? No, no, no. <laughs> I wish I had one. <laughs> I think Damn. every Belgian should have one. You know, yes. my, you know what my tired brain just did there, though? Mm. It went back to the reference that I made earlier about like talking to somebody from Germany and saying, "Oh, I really like I like bratwurst." Yeah, and then I imagined like a like a sausage printer. <laughs> I mean, that would kind of be awesome. I, would yeah. be, uh... I mean, hey, why not? Hey, uh, New Dan is here. What is Ish. up, New Dan? Ember of Prototypes is here too. Oh, whoa! Um, never. Uh, wow, I wonder who yeah. that is. I never, never even heard of Ember Prototypes before. I wonder. Uh, oh, who that might be. <laughs> nice, nice. These build um, plates are awesome. Awesome. I know. Awesome. I'm excited. So actually, well, uh, can I just open that real quick? Because I I can't stop it. staring at it. Do I want to open it. Do so it. we got. Do it. Yeah. Usually Jim is doing the unboxings on this show, mm. but now I have a chance. The, ta- yeah. the turns have tabled. Um, so I yeah. have a fancy package here that just showed up today from mm-hmm. uh, first name Ember, last name Prototypes. And Sarah's shutting the door because she's already tired of me yelling. I love you. I love you too. Ask her how the chicken is. The chicken is fine. We're actually having baked potatoes for dinner. <laughs> and I am excited to see what these look like. I know that uh, he already posted a picture, but... Let's see. Yeah, I think I saw it on X uh, preview sticker? already. I love me a good sticker. But you know what's not a sticker? Oh, 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 oh these bad boys. Check that out. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Love it. And they showed up in time for Mur- uh, Remurf too. So um, it's, we're not bringing any printers with us to Remurf, but um, the benefit there was they were both shipped to me, and I'll just bring Jim his. I'll fly with it. Or you know, I'll just conveniently forget it at home. <laughs> I can <conveniently laughs> really forget it. I'll, I'll conveniently forget to pay for it too. So we're safe. You know, it's like you know, fifty. Wait, have you not? Did you not pay me for? <laughs> <laughs> you're right. You didn't, did you? <laughs> busted. I don't know what you're. Oh, paying for. you just busted yourself. These are awesome. These are gorgeous. <laughs> are these actually the thin coating or the thick coating? Do you know? I think they're the Ooh. thin because uh, I didn't want it. To, we, we didn't need it to imprint on the print, right? It was the thin coating for the for the flat, and then it was the thick coating for the imprint. Yeah. So I said this was kind of related to Christoph because uh, your crafty maker plate was the reason why I was was the first time I saw these. I know they've been kind of going around the the internet a little bit lately, but yours was the first one I saw, and uh, I reached out to uh, Ember Prototypes, and I was like, hey. You have a flame. We have a flame. Yeah. Why are we not making a thing? We need to make a thing. <laughs> so, yeah. And now we have the thing. I love Thin. it. I, I got Thank to you. actually do the... Uh, losing some weight. No, I haven't. I, <laughs> I have got into the data program of, them, uh, of the plates. So I got one earlier. Oh, well, actually, it took a while to, be, to get them in, into Belgium, but <laughs> I got... Uh, right. I got the sneak preview of them. They're awesome. Ooh. Yeah, they are absolutely awesome, and I can't wait to start printing some stuff on these and posting some pics. So thank you. Um, I have one more thing. So a few episodes ago, um, Patrick Moore, a.k.a. Uh, Light Source Engraving, uh, while we were streaming, was actually uh, separately streaming. He was engraving on his diode laser. He was engraving the Hot Mix logo onto a coin. And I thought that was cool as heck. So I, he reached out to us and actually offered to send us the coin from that stream. Um, but here's nice. the fun part. There, this is heavy, and there's certainly more than a coin in here. So I don't, I don't know if it's multiple coins or there's something else in here, but we're going to find out. Maybe a, find a out. gold bar. It, <laughs> okay. Hey, Ooh, a gold bar. A whole gold bar. Two coins. Coal. So, Let's see. Could have just sent, you know. <laughs> um, so Patrick is trying to. Uh, I told him I'd give him a shout out. He's trying to reach 10k on his channel. There is a link oh, yeah. that I will post right now. Do it. Go find it. Light source engraving. Let's get him to 10k. Let's do. It. There. Post it in the chat. All right. Tripod's one calling layer a single in. person. Holy out here. crap! I think he's talking to Caleb. Hang on. <laughs> 
There's a Ooh, laser. It's lasered frozen chicken. There's a ton of stuff in here, dude. I don't know if anybody oh, saw it earlier, but I think he showed his address. So just send him all the frozen chicken you can. Uh, yeah, I showed my address because I, I don't care. <laughs> but I blocked out uh, his address because I don't know if he cares or not. So we got some stickers. You know, I love me some stickers. Ooh, bunch of stickers. Yeah. I'll bring Jim. I'll bring a couple of these. Uh, to rem- oh my god, dude. <laughs> There's. This I have is some- so- <laughs> This is so awesome. It's right. off camera. You can't see it. Sorry, I have some coins for you as well. Apparently, Ooh. yeah. So let's take a look at this. I'm gonna pop this bad boy out. So it wasn't just one coin. Apparently, he uh, he sent a little bit of something for everybody. Oh man! All right, check that out. Nice. If it'll focus, I don't have a fancy camera like Jim does. So look <laughs> at that. I'll post some pictures What's... on Twitter later. But check that out. Oh, Sweet. nice. I know. So there's three of those, it looks like. Yeah, there's three of those. And then there's another one here. How how thick are those coins? I'm asking. Dude, they uh, are. Uh, I'm asking Patrick. They, oh, those, they, look, four mil? they look like Pretty a poker thick. chip or something. Yeah, I, no, they're, they're definitely thicker than that. I don't know. Um, I don't know what to compare it to. Here's a um, camera, a lens cap. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that is thick. a lens cap. Super thick. So there's one here that looks a little bit different than the other ones. And Patrick, you can uh um you can correct me here. I'm trying to get it out. <sighs> Maybe they're all different. I'm not sure. No, this one's definitely <laughs> different. Dun 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 the mystery. Check that out. Ooh. Ooh, nice that one day. has a lot more definition to it. That's awesome. Mm. He cut out the outside too, which yeah. is sweet. It's got that cool design on the back, but yeah. this one I don't know how to, I don't know how to show. These are gorgeous, dude. That's awesome. These are pretty. All right, and then we also have some sweet metal business cards. I've been playing around with that nice. a little bit myself. That's sweet. Nice. That's awesome. And then what appears to be. Everything's in uh, shrink wrap. That's why it's taking me forever to actually get it on screen. <laughs> uh, appears to be a bottle opener, keychain, brass. Nice, nice. Patrick, you were supposed to send a coin. One coin. <laughs> One singular coin. And then check this out. Sweet. Uh. Yeah. All right, Jim, I have some goodies to bring to you. That's what awesome. Is, those those look awesome. Uh, Dude, Patrick, thank you so much. These are gorgeous. Yeah. Patrick, Amazing how... Um, Amazing. Very deep. Make sure you see the one that's different and very deep. He said you saw that. Um, hey, hey, Patrick, how deep, how thick were your... How thick were those coins? I have, I have some brass blanks and stuff, but I don't think they're that thick. Mine are like three millimeters or something. I can't remember. Yeah, I think he's... here. I don't know if it's gonna that's work. That's awesome. Whoa. I'm hoping it will. Yeah, Holy. there we go. That's better. Yeah, you that's see awesome. How deep that is. Yeah, that's, There's that's a lot of detail. I mean, this one, yeah, this one's pretty deep too, but it has and it has that outer edge. This one just straight up feels yeah. It feels like it's ca- it almost like has that detail for with like a cast, like right. an old school cast like challenge coin almost. You gotta love uh fiber. Fiber Man. lasers. That is gorgeous, Jeez. dude. Show the other side while we're up close and personal. That took a lot of material out, out of the coin. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Nice. Thank you so I'm much, dude. Gold, you know, so. I'm going to be sharing some of these with Jim for sure. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Anyway. Sweet. Well, wow. thank you for that. That's awesome. The build plates, phenomenal. Also, the build plates I are can't gorgeous. Wait to uh, check that out in person. And They're just hot um, makes on everything. Also, hot makes on everything. Yeah, hot, ma- hot makes it all. Akuma mods or, or Matt, um, uh, it would be light source engraving. Did that Patrick at light source engraving? Yep. I'll post it. He's in the chat, um, and then I'll post a link to his website again here too. There you go. Two hours on the 120 watt for the deepest one. Oh, that's mine would have been a while. I only have a 30 watt, so mine would take it a lot longer than that. I'm guessing that's one side though too, right? I'm not. I'm not probably sure. per yeah per side. Um, I'm guessing. Yeah, that's awesome. 
Holy and do they do wow. custom orders? I believe that's what he actually does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Pust, uh, there's um, a link to his website in there. Definitely go check it out and yeah. get a hold of him. Do it. Dude, so, these, uh, <laughs> these coins are so thick, I can't get them back in the case. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, jokes the, on you. In he the them wrap? in there so so they would so they would jump out. You know, that's what the shrink wrap is for. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so let's 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 change it. We we got an awesome okay, guest sorry. here. Um, no, you're good, Christoph. So tell us a little before we get too far, too far. Let's let's talk about you. Uh, tell us a little about yourself. You know who you are, what you do, that kind of thing. Sure. Yeah, I'm Christoph, also known as the Crafty Maker. And uh, mostly uh, 3D uh, modeling designer, um, so spe- specifically for uh, print, 3D printing. I am hoping I'm not butchering your uh, beautiful language. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. What? <laughs> I think it's everyone collaborately just French, laughed. But, yeah. <laughs> Everybody and, just uh, collaborately laughed because you said uh, <laughs> beautiful language. Beautiful language, no. yeah. <laughs> you know. Your language, and uh, yeah. yeah, I'm mostly known for um, my uh, shadow boxes, uh, and um, recently got into like uh, yeah, fake stained glass uh, artwork too, mm-hmm. with translucent filaments. So uh, those new ones are all, yeah, those are awesome. Yeah. So, but i have always uh, been into art, artsy stuff, and yeah, I think. It was around uh, the Corona and lockdown that I got my first 3D printer. So I'm not that long into 3D printing uh, yet, like three years now. But that's and a great time to get first... started when you're looking for something to do. Yeah. yeah. And I, right. I bought yeah. much. I bought the cheapest one, like an AnyCubic uh, Mega Zero Two, <laughs> and uh, the first print that came out of the machine I was it was like magic. It was like a Star Trek. Uh, how do you call yeah. it? Um, a replicator. The replicator. The replicator. Yeah. I was like, it's Coffee. magic. Ah. And yeah. then, uh, yeah, I started printing at first, and and uh, yeah, searching models on Thingiverse, print stuff like that. And mm-hmm. after a while, I was a bit fed up um, because I had some <laughs> models that didn't work out really well. So I went into 3D designing because I'm a software engineer. I've always been a software engineer. So I didn't okay. have a lot of experience with 3D modeling. And yeah, um, and after that, I just was uh, looking for a way to get art into the 3D printing. And that's how the shadow boxes uh, came to life. And I'm a big Star Wars fan. Caleb, you you <laughs> you buy. You already know that. Yeah, we were talking about that before the show. Yeah. Yeah. So the first shadow boxes I made were like a scene from Tatooine and mm-hmm. uh, and the other was from Hop. And yeah. And then I kept making uh, uh, these shadow boxes and posted them on socials and uh, on all 3D model platforms and yeah, gained some traction and did some uh, yeah, yeah awesome stuff. That's actually sitting. Uh, I think I just saw that sitting behind you there. That yeah, one particularly that's sitting uh, here, yeah, in the corner. And look at that. That's why you're talking. You're talking <laughs> shadow boxes. So I kind of wanted to walk through, you know, what they look like. So I found one real quick, and it's like layers of 3D printed. Yeah, I mean, yeah. 3D printed layers, right, in a light so box. Cool. Yeah, technically, yeah. it's not really a shadow box because. Shadow boxes are mostly from the paper craft world. Like uh, mm-hmm. you have like layers of paper behind each other, and then you put a light behind it, and then you have like the shadows that create the whole spectacle in a little frame. Yeah. And yeah. I have some that are back that can be backlit, but most are just front lit or or don't need any That's light. So cool. But uh, it's actually, yeah, um, plates. Oh, that one. Different plates. Yeah. That's a, that's a, re- this is the most recent uh, stained glass yeah. design, right? Yeah. That's the, the Star Trek, uh, this one. That's nice. awesome. And you did, when well, you were talking about how some of them you do design for, for backlights, and those are, des- those stained glass ones are specifically designed for backlights, correct? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they uh, came to fru- fruition with uh, in incorporate uh, yeah, collaboration with Bamboo Lab actually. Yeah, um, nice. they uh, so cool. 
So they, they, I think it's like three months or two months ago, they uh, released like the translucent pet G line, like mm -hmm. uh, eight different colors. And I was like, man, I need those. <laughs> <laughs> I need those because I yeah. have an idea and I want to make it. And, and yeah, the thing is the stained glasses, stained glass always intrigued me. My, my wife, mm -hmm. her family is really uh, into, yeah, her father is really a, a practicing Catholic. So yeah, sometimes we go sure. into churches and when I enter a church here in Belgium, you have like these beautiful, uh, I don't care about everything else, but I always look at the stained glasses. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, at the stained glass windows and I'm always intrigued by them. And so I was like, I need to replicate this with 3d printing. So yeah. And they uh, agreed. They sponsored me the filament. Um, I pitched a project. They sponsored me the filament, and then I made this, uh, this, uh, yeah, the oh yeah Saturn record with the space. That was the first so, one, right? The first one, yeah, that was the first yeah. one. And uh, yeah, I I really so here's like a, this here's one. a very important question while we're talking. Um, how does one search for these online? Where can we find your stuff? I threw a link in the chat. Yeah, Perfect. I have a link tree it's with in the description all the. Too, right? Yeah, yep, it's in the description too. Yeah, sure. all the the modeling repos where I'm active on um, are, are there. Are you still on Instagram? Peoples. Yeah, I'm still yeah. on Instagram. Oh no! Oh, the link is broken. Oh, huh. oh. I need to uh, fix that. The tree <laughs> is broken for the link. Oh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, I I love it. I think these are flipping cool. Um, here's another uh, th 3D printed using Hue Forge. Huh? I know. And we, yeah, had, uh, we had we uh, had Hue Forge on quite a few months ago. Mm -hmm. I actually like Hue Forge because that was the next step into bringing art into 3D printing. Mm -hmm. And uh, I did like uh, the Starry Night shadow box and uh, yeah. the Big Wave shadow box. And those are really awesome. Every day so I look cool. at them. There's one here behind me. On this side, let's. Ooh. Yeah, oh, that I is love it. Stupid cool. That's completely uh, made by UForge. In layers. So, yeah, in layers. So you have uh, one. I think. Let's oh. this. So you have. Oh, there's more layers there than I thought there were. Four layers. Check that yeah. out. Wow. That it's takes awesome. a while to create these, but they are awesome. The result is also always awesome. Mm -hmm. And that's really bringing art into 3D printing. So that's kind of my goal. And uh, yeah, a lot of a lot of people. This like one's those so much things. fun. I love the Ghostbusters one. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that one I made for the release of the new movie. Um, this is so cool. And this, I this know. is actually a combination about uh, of two. Uh, this is a combination of uh, U forged plates with regular color swap plates. Yeah, the the nice. icy ones, the two plates in the back that have like the ice yeah. effect to them. Those are U forged, right? Yeah, those are U forged, That's and so uh, the cool. ones in front. That is and so I always cool. a cool idea. I always try to model them that you don't need an MMU or an AMS uh, mm -hmm. to print those. You just cool. need a color change on layer and uh, you can print it with any printer. You don't need an IDEX or whatever. And I love how Which you came up with this frame system too. I know. Looks yeah. Like you yeah. So you the, can have multiple sets and like swap them yeah, out. You drop the, you, you drop the last piece of that piece of that frame on it kind of seals it all in. <laughs> yep. Makes it look yeah. great. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, so and they're cool. ha they're wall mountable, so you can hang them hang uh, hang them on your wall as a real piece oh, of sweet. art. So I Look also did. Collab oh, <laughs> yeah, that was <laughs> when I got the plate. I was really excited. <laughs> I really love that plate. I love I love the use of that gift. <laughs> um, I love it. That calls yeah. back to me uh, not remembering where planes go. They're over there in the cow house, you know, where the cows live. Yeah. <laughs> this is another cow example house. of a U-Forge. Oh, U-Forge uh, one also in three layers, the Bad Batch. I remember it was funny because yeah. you and I were talking 
uh, in DMs, and I was like, yeah, I've got a friend who's who's asking me about a Bad Batch set. Have you worked on those, or, or were you thinking about working on something? And then you just sent me a picture. You're like, actually, <laughs> this is releasing next week. <laughs> Yeah, and I think yeah, yeah, I think that friend, she was in the chat earlier. I think I don't know if she's still here or not, but uh, yeah, these these sh- shadow this, boxes are just awesome, man. I uh, so the fact so, that they all go in similar frame, it's all a similar frame system. You know, it's modular. Yeah, yeah. Like if you want to do this one, it's more of a puzzle. If you want to do the other one, it's more like a relief painting. If you want to do the other one, right. you've got like almost like layered vinyl, like different colors. There's just different. There's all these different ways of doing something that all fits within the so same, cool. like, modular system, and that's just yeah. so cool. The Burns thing is, says, I am here. I'm hey! a software engineer, and so software engineers are lazy. That's what <laughs> I always say. <laughs> <laughs> so, so uh, we, we don't uh, we don't funny. do things twice. So that's why I think in 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 uh, in systems that I can reuse for different, uh, yeah, different models. So. And that's uh so was that was that the bamboo lab panel I saw on the back of that? Yeah. That's what it looked I like. Got, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's the nice. bamboo lab panel. I made uh I made a uh yeah, a little holder to put in to put yeah. put it in the back. There you go. But I also that's made I one that you just can uh, make a, re- a a regular let let strip. Oh um, cool. So you can okay. choose that's cool if you don't want to buy the bat and i see that one that one had magnets for the top of the frame too huh yeah 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 nice one magnets here Mm. magnets there that's uh this one is uh releasing next week fantastic you heard it here break breaking news uh so (laughs) as we're looking at these what um what made you go down this path like before you created your very first one right so what what sent you down the path of these of these awesome we'll call them shadow boxes <laughs> yeah um oh yeah and doctor like who went, I, I gotta ask you. <laughs> <laughs> sorry <laughs> I, I actually doctor who uh no doctor who no that I think I have one in uh, lined up to 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 make uh, uh, like a stained glass of Doctor Who. There you so, go. Ooh. Are you going to do the TARDIS? <laughs> uh, no, we don't know. Oh. Okay, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. All right. So, He's so like, yeah, shut how, up, shut how up. How did you get? <laughs> how did you get started? Uh, we'll change change the subject real fast. How did you get started? So, like, what made you the first time you you created one of these where were where were you at what was your thought process yeah i just wanted to make yeah i had this 3, 3d printer and i wanted to do something artful creative with it and yeah my passion is into uh, star wars i create a lot of star wars shadow boxes i i have like a bunch of star wars lego so star mm-hmm. wars is <laughs> it's uh everywhere here here in the uh, in the house so yeah i i i was thinking i need to make something I that, that i can <laughs> with the printer <laughs> <laughs> yeah i i have another one with the coffee cup but somebody suggested me like it was in the a1 uh yeah yeah cable uh, drama and they were like hey maybe you should put the printer there Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, and I was, uh, yeah, I was thinking about how can I create uh, those awesome art pieces with my three D printer. And then I, I, I got to think, I got thinking uh, about, yeah, most art is framed, and you can hang it from your wall. Mm-hmm. So I was like, okay, I need to make a frame, and uh, it needs to be wall mountable. The actually the first version wasn't wall mountable. It's just to display on the shelf or on a on a cabinet. But uh, the end goal was to uh, make a wall mountable frame. Mm-hmm. But then yeah, a frame alone doesn't get you very far. So I needed to uh, to put some stuff in there. So uh, I got designing into the the plates, create some blank plates, and and then yeah. Mostly how I work is I make compositions of stuff. So um, I think about a scene in a movie or or an artwork, and then I compose 
the I find some reference material and compose stuff together, and then I get uh, working into uh, Inkscape to make create some vectors about for for them, and then yeah, import them That's into cool. Fusion and and cut them out of the plates and uh, okay. That's and that's so cool. how I mostly work. And yeah, I was wondering Caleb about can... that because when I so I was talking to you recently, I I started kind of like trying to come up with my some of my own panels and stuff. And I mm -hmm. I thought that uh, um I thought very similarly. Like what I ended up doing was I made the panels in uh, Illustrator and then exported the SVGs and extruded them in uh, Tinkercad. <laughs> But same, yeah. I didn't realize that's the process you were using. It's the same, basically yeah, the same, just with different tools. Yeah. And yeah. the UForge ones, these Thank are you, a little bit more, you, more complex, like uh, for the, especially for the Starry Night and the big wave I work yeah. from, uh, the reference material is the artwork itself. So, and then I need to use Photoshop to uh, cut the painting into different layers. Mm -hmm. um, and the hardest part there is to see where you need to make those cuts and and and, and remove some stuff and, and add some stuff sometimes. Um, so it takes some creativity to uh, to create yeah. those. But um, yeah, like Hang you on. said, whoa, Philip, whoa, you you whoa, made whoa. you, you made your own box. And... What is this? What is this waffle burger that I'm looking at here? That's not a burger. That's a child, Jim. I know you get those confused every now and then. <laughs> well, I'm looking at the burger. What is this? This has oh, nothing to do with yeah. what you're talking about. <laughs> Actually, we have like a fast food restaurant, and I think it's only in Belgium. It's called Quick, and okay. uh, they released uh, a burger with uh, waffle buns. <laughs> I don't know why I never nice. thought of it. I love it. And I want yeah, it right it now. Actually, they don't have it anymore because it's like a limited uh, ah. run for a month or something. But they were actually really good. <laughs> I'm going to have to try that sometime. I'm, in. I'm all in for waffle buns. I know. That? <laughs> uh, fix them, dude. Thank you so much. Love the Thanks, Crafty sir. Maker's work. Thank you so much for a 10 spot. Also, again, Jake, Jake from State Farm. Q4G is great. I purchasely, uh, purchased software to support the project. I haven't used it yet. Regardless, Steve is a good human. I absolutely agree. Mm -hmm. but don't tell him he's here. He did you know you don't want to let him know that. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> Ed, yes, we started without you, but I'll put your face right there over Caleb's, and you can be with us the rest of the show. Wait, um, wait, wait, wait. Let me line up with. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> yes, I am now Ed. Ed, you now you're Ed Caleb. I am Ed. That's you, what the C stands for. Caleb. Yeah, that's what the C yep. is. That's yep. uh, definitely Ed Caleb. Look so at me, um, look at me. I am the Ed now. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I mean, you've done so many of these, and uh, and Hugh Forging is right. Um, you are so good with coming up with these like creative reels and <laughs> all, all the man. Yeah, that was it's actually. So a, a journey the social media stuff the creating videos and stuff like that <laughs> in the beginning i was like i wasn't really into it but the more you get into it well, it, for me the more i get into it creating oh. those videos I, I actually have fun now creating those so uh yeah. getting a little bit better at it too so uh i found in the past too i this i I don't know if this is the case for you or not, but I found in the past too, like sometimes I'll tend, sometimes I can get into a little bit of a slump and like, I've got some projects that I want to work on, but I don't have a whole lot of motivation to actually work on them, but being excited to document them and then show them off to people when I'm done motivates me to, to start working on them again. Just yeah. if not anything, just because I want to show it off. Like I have the idea. I want people to see it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, sure. Sure. And it's part of the process now. It's uh it's incorporated in uh, in my process, so it's designing, mm -hmm. printing, and then shooting the videos while printing, assembly. So it's it's getting really really smoother now and better. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, yeah, I'm really ha having fun doing uh, all this stuff. And actually, like you, you, Caleb, you you made your own design, and I encourage everyone to uh, to make your own designs and. You can contact me. I can give you the blank plates. I have no issue nice. whatsoever. Oh, uh, I went the hard way. I figured out how to make. Uh, uh, I should have asked you for the plates. <laughs> 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 I 
You didn't ask. <laughs> Should have asked. Oh, wait, have does asked he have plates. his one pop thingy? I'm not sure what that means. What? Sorry, I didn't mean to close that. <laughs> one pop thingy. Oh, that pop thingy. Oh, yeah. That's cool. Uh, that's uh, so... actually generated by an AI. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. <laughs> so we need we need a a, a mini, like a um like mm. a, a Wexter mini of Kristoff then. Yeah. Oh, that would go. be cool. Mm-hmm. That would be nice. With little, with like a little shadow box, like in his hand. Yeah. Ooh. I'm trying to find. Actually, these so Christmas, many... uh, these Christmas baubles are also little shadow boxes. Oh, They're, that's uh, so they, cool. They open on on the side, mm-hmm. and you can put in the four different plates. I think five or four. I don't remember. Um, I love that. Uh, I love that you kind of you kind of went full circle here where they're all they're they're printed entirely in white so they look like they're actually cut out of paper yeah I full circle it is, i mean a joke but i yeah. but also it is full circle because you, you kind of designed it and printed it like it's like an original shadow box yeah. and actually those things i really like because this one has a print in place hinge and yeah it's always oh, nice. i challenge myself i challenge myself to do to design some new stuff like Print in place was wasn't something I didn't uh, do before. So, yeah. Oh, I and you, so it looks like you've got them. They're like notched too, so they don't rotate out of place. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I had some revisions for that. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And you did a um, you did a s- similar but different thing where uh, like a different shape than the typical rectangle uh, shadow box with the coffins. Yeah, and those I had a print in place hinge there. too. Yeah, those. I love those. those. I printed Halloween. so many of those on it, like last year during Halloween. Those have a yeah. That's those so cool. And that hinge is so satisfying. Yeah, like I took they, like, I took those to shows every now and then, and I would just open it and like snap it closed like a like a slate. Think, like yeah. a filming Maybe plate. you can hear the click. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. So, so satisfying. I love it. So you're really you're really um, capturing. All the seasons in there. I mean, mm-hmm. yeah, I'm some. trying to design some uh, some seasonal stuff too, like Halloween, Valentine's Day, mm-hmm. stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, mostly my 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 main passion is uh, Star Wars and movie themed shadow boxes. You're speaking my language. Mostly, yeah. my main passion is Star Wars and movie things themes. Hello, <laughs> yeah. shadow box ASMR. Someone says, "Yeah, <laughs> just, uh, basically, listen to you open and close it." Oh, yeah. maybe I should uh, do some videos about that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's that's sweet. I mean, you, the stuff is so cool, and it's so cool. Like, I'm still looking at stuff over here, but uh, <laughs> you, want me to, you want me to pop that back in? I mean, yeah. it's just really for my that's viewing weird. pleasure. Um, no. Weird, <laughs> right? You have to make it weird. I'm not. Look at the panda. I'm just the panda's cool. actually. The, that's made in a in, in a collaboration with Cyanide Sugar. I, I don't know if you know her. Ah, there you go. Yeah. There you go. And uh yeah. There it is. <laughs> yeah. So uh I reached out to her and uh, to ask her if she was interested in uh some frames because she made like uh a, a U-Forge uh with the Millennium Falcon coming out of it. Yeah, yeah. I, we yeah, showed yeah. that off quite a few episodes ago. I remember that. I think so, yeah. Uh, yeah. I re- oh that's so that cool was really amazing model so i really like that one and i was like i need to make a frame for myself for this and i was like maybe i should share that frame <laughs> yeah and then uh, awesome. then i asked her what her dimensions were uh from for her models and uh yeah i made a couple of versions of those boxes like i think there are seven different sizes now for those boxes oh wow and you can wow. and you have like three Three slots, so you can put it in front or a bit in the middle or yeah. way back to have like different effects. And these are also That's wall cool. mountable, so that was a re- pretty cool collaboration. That's a lot of fun, and and you and you do so and, many designs. Um, is she coming up with the art in that one then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. The, she was making the 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 plates to put into the box and. Like this one is also from her. That's Pikachu. so cool. So and uh, I love it. Yeah. 
Yeah, those so are awesome. Good. She she creates some awesome stuff. There you go. Yeah, that's there the one. it is. Oh. That one blew yeah, that... my mind when I saw it for the first time. Yeah, this one is really really good. Now, that is it. there? I th- 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 this is the thing that's so cool about this to me. I don't know, like without painting or having some sort of paint applications, I don't know how you could buy something like that at the store you know like it's got the t- you could have something that's printed you know and it's just got a flat surface right. to it but if you want it to have that texture that tactile cool tactile feel where like the hyperspace like blue and, and white lines are picking up different shadows and different light and stuff like that i don't know how you would even make that other than 3d printing you know it's too damn cool i'm excited right. i really so like good. uh the stuff you can do with you, Forge. Yeah. Um, yeah. I I have no methods in doing it. I'm just like uh, winging it, like turning <laughs> knobs and <laughs> sliders too, right? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and hope for the best. But uh, most of the times, uh, yeah, I succeed. So, but she so she good. creates some awesome uh, U Forge. Uh, yeah. I call her yeah. the U Forge Queen. <laughs> <laughs> i love it ian so, ian is the hugh forge king and and uh she's the hugh forge forge queen huh that's so good man you gotta stop doing that i'm sorry oh, dude <laughs> and, and i'm the only one because it's like uh, yeah yawning. it's like uh almost back two in the morning 1 a.m here. 2 a.m almost where yeah. you are yeah so she's but in the yeah, u.s i, I thought I'm that she was in california i thought yeah, I, as yeah. soon as you said that, I was like, well, is she going to be at Remurf? No, but Hugh Forge is going to be at Remurf. Heck yeah. I'm excited. Yeah. Excited to meet you. There's so many people that are going to be there this year that I'm super stoked to meet in person. Me too. We got to see you there yeah, next year, Christoph. I hope. I'm so bummed that I can't go. <laughs> but I'm definitely going to the UK to the Sanja Mortimer uh, Rep Rock Festival. Mm hmm. So nice. Probably running the Murph- <laughs> what are you doing, Caleb? Uh, I love you, Forge. I haven't figured out how to use it. The only thing I can resize is is the prints. I uh, only thing is you, you can't, can't resize, resize the, prints. the prints. Yeah, you actually, can. you can. Yeah, but you just don't resize the Z. <laughs> don't ever touch the Z <laughs> <laughs> because it will screw up That's the. Well, I was uh, looking forward to meeting Hugh Forge in person, but yeah, no, not oh yeah, that. I just yeah. it's definitely happening. Nope, um, nope. Yep, the rented, the rented oh. furry costume. <laughs> I, have a, I have an exceptionally, I have an it's very it's inappropriate for the show, so I'm not going to tell him on the show. But I do have a story to tell you, Jim, <laughs> at some point. Uh, that, that oh, no. sure, the rented oh, no. furry costume reminds hot, me. Of. Hot makes after dark. <laughs> yeah, it's, hey, we could do a yeah. No, yeah, it's a weird story. I got it. Um, yeah, I love it. So what else? Uh, oh, so I have another one. What's your what is your favorite thing to make in general? Not it doesn't have to be a light box, right? Um, <laughs> what if it was like box, I but, hate making light boxes? They're yeah, the yeah. No, what I mean like, <laughs> what's your favorite thing? Like everybody has a thing. Is it is it the the shadow boxes? Is it something different that we don't know about? Um. Or we haven't talked about that kind of thing. Um, actually, um, I have two children, and my son is into flexi, flexi dragons, oh. and flexi little yeah. animals, and I really yeah. like to print those. So, and there are some are really, uh, yeah, good. The designs mm-hmm. are really nice. good. They're uh, well made. Do so, you have a favorite designer uh, that you end up kind of gravitating towards to pull some of those from? Flexi Factory, yep. I really like. Mm-hmm. So uh, yeah, and actually, my uh, the thing I have to be a little bit, but uh, my stained glass pieces that I make myself. Yeah, I really don't like printing them. Well, doesn't really matter. It's the printer that's doing the work. But <laughs> yeah. I really like, I really like putting them together. Yeah, because it's, it's like a really puzzle. Like, now. yeah, yeah, it's really. Yeah. Suiting, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can you? So those, now, I haven't printed imagine? one yet because oh. I don't have any transparent filament on me at the moment. But do you? Um, uh, do those just do those snap in place? 
Um, yeah, the tolerances are pretty tight, but not that tight that you have to really push. So they okay. they really are. Some pieces are really uh, yeah they snap in place. Some are, some are easier to put in. Yeah, and some are really small, so you need like tweezers to uh, yeah. put them in. But oh, wow. uh, there's also a back frame to keep everything together. Um, okay. And yeah, the best thing is to glue the back frame into the front frame so you don't have accidents like I have. <laughs> and you need to find pieces everywhere on the floor. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I didn't see the tiny pieces like that. So I'll have to go back and look. I imagine yeah, that in the, some of the parts. I, there, were like, imagine... there were pieces that were like this big in that video yeah. we were looking at earlier. Yeah. Yeah. Can, even smaller. Can you imagine like being being like hundreds of years a genius ago and like Kristoff? Making... No, I can't imagine. Well, that that too. I mean, that, that <laughs> is too. Yeah. But like, but like, um, can you imagine being one of the people like hundreds of years ago who made those stained glass windows from the churches you probably you know have been into? Try to like, and show them a it's, 3D it's, printer. Isn't it, I think it's lead, right? They use like lead is, in, yeah. the, in the actual windows, yeah, and yeah. I mean, like the intricacies that they had to go through to get what they got at that time mm -hmm. um, is yeah. just mind-blowing also let's not forget yeah. it's stained glass glass guys yeah. like yeah. I, you, tell ask me like put a gun to my head and ask me to make a perfect square or a perfect rectangle out right. of glass nonetheless a very specific right. shape and you're going to end up with a pile of shattered glass like you're not, you're not gonna have the I, right shape. I definitely thought I, I thought you were going brains on that one. Um, well, there's that too. Yeah, it's the, I'm, yeah. I'm done. <laughs> no, I, uh, I, I agree. It's, um, it's just crazy how how cool some of that stuff is. Um, yeah, and I actually follow a guy on Instagram, a Belgium guy, also who really makes still custom stained glass windows for homes. And okay, yeah. These are awesome. It's like the the vibrancy of the color because that's that's one thing I'm I'm going to experiment now. It's like making it more translucent. Ooh, I've seen yeah. some guys printing like transparent pagi, and it's really really like yeah, really like glass almost. So, but the settings right. you need a bigger nozzle to do that, higher yeah. temperatures, slower print times. So I'm uh, experimenting. I'm going to experiment. I didn't start it yet, but I'm going to experiment uh, with some of those settings to uh, get them more like, yeah, glass-like. Because now they're still a bit like milky and sure. Bit, and, yeah. yeah. So do you? How many? Um, kind of a loaded, loaded question because I guess layer height, <laughs> layer height has, uh, has will affect this too. But how thick? I guess how thick are they? The panels when you print them the stained glass pieces mm -hmm. themselves yeah it depends on the color um if you want a light blue you you print them thinner and if you oh. want like a darker shade of blue you print them thicker so, okay uh, so the colors so I you're have, creating different colors with different like uh basically the same you're creating color. tones yeah. yeah 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 i have like swatches that uh go up like 0 0.2 that's millimeter. cool that's cool. so i can hold to the light and then i can guess the color um from all the filaments that are translucent so yeah if you want more vibrant colors then you need to print them thicker if you want uh like the lighter shades yeah then you go like uh, 0. 0.4 or 0. 0.6 wow and the other ones uh, mostly default i'm at uh, 1.2 i think 1.2 millimeters <laughs> thickness yeah created That's like crazy. definitely a darker but then that would be probably more difficult to make it more transparent like you're gonna try experimenting with too be a lot of lighter color yeah, but actually th these filaments are quite translucent so uh, i only used uh, like the bamboo lab now and the uh, polymaker also transparent patchy and they are still quite translucent at those thicknesses yeah with light light uh, you can't see through them huh? But yeah, and that's what Matt, Matt German just made a very good point. It's it's very similar to lithophanes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Thicker material, there's less light that passes through. Yeah. So do you yeah. um um do you like the I, there's like a pattern 
on those stained glass pieces? Is that transfer? Yeah. Is that um, transposed from the bed, or are you doing some sort of fancy ironing, or what's going on there? That's actually the octogram spiral uh, top layer finish in the slice okay. in bamboo. You can choose that one in the uh, Bamboo Studio. I think it's in uh, Prusa Slicer and um, um, Orca. Orca, yeah, yep. okay. <laughs> Orca Slicer. Um, you can choose that. It's the default uh, top finish. You can mm -hmm. choose that. And it makes like a really fancy, yeah, star shaped I love that. finish at the top here. Well, uh, my favorite part yeah, about and, that is that because of the way it because of the way it creates that top layer, it's it's it looks like it's basically mirrored between pieces. Yeah. So you have that same kind of centered star yeah. expansion, you know, from from the so two cool. different sides of two different pieces. That's so cool. I gotta yeah, make some you of have the, point. You have the freedom to choose whatever top finish you like. If you want to finish it like I did, go go with the uh, octagon spiral. Uh, if you want to finish like with the spiral finish, it's all uh, up to you to choose that's that is so cool. it, it's yeah and it's fun that you're using that those features too um you know it, it's not just like bam i'm doing it, it it's you're, you're finding cool things like that um yeah. well and just and that's um and that's using like using the features of the tool as part of the art you know it's not like you're right. it's not like you're designing a specific like software that's putting that pattern in there and it's not like you're going out of your way to try to like remove any elements of 3d printing to try to make it as smooth and as clear as possible it's like no you're you're taking an element you're taking just a setting on the on the slicer and making it part of your art right that's so yeah. cool and with the uh, yeah star trek enterprise i added the feature like uh, a two-tone like uh, color change on the transparent uh, piece here for the name. So that's just printed on the piece uh, in Black okay. Pet G. Okay. Like the color swap. Is that and is that Black Pet G? Yeah. Okay. It's nice. uh, it's uh, translucent, uh, transparent polymaker Pet G that turns into white if you print it a little bit thicker. And then on top of that, it's like just uh, the Black Pet G. See, one of the That's things cool. I'm gonna I'm gonna fanboy about you just for just for a minute. One of the things <laughs> that it's so has been so fun to me and, and why I get so excited about watching your work and when you come out with new stuff is that um like if anybody goes to his Patreon or his social accounts and just scrolls way back, you can kind of see like the designs are super cool, but relatively simple compared to current current designs that he's making. And as he came out with like you can kind of see the thought process as you're going through the timeline of his designs. So like started with some flat panels and then introducing some panels with some extra colors and then, okay, let's add some more colors and then we'll do some Hue Forge stuff. Well, now we'll add the old colors or the regular panel colors and the Hue Forge stuff. And then, you know what, I'm going to make some stained glass stuff. And you know what, I'll take the panels, <laughs> the, the layered panel designs and start adding that feature into the stained glass part. And like you can just kind of see all these like, well, that's cool. What if I combine mm. it with this and combine it with this? And I just I love watching that happen. I love watching that evolution yeah. of somebody's like journey over time. Yeah. And you just keep making cooler and cooler and cooler stuff. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm actually, my, my my end goal is like making a bunch of those and stack them next to each other and on top of each other to make like a huge oh. stained glass. <laughs> Fantastic! Yeah, we need but a. Yeah, we should, we, by the we size talk. of the printer, still. <laughs> yeah, I, have, I have an idea. Um, um, I have an idea. We should talk. That's Let's talk actually about the, the giant printer. That's that's actually mm -hmm. the comment I get the most on Maker World. Like, oh man, I didn't know that was even possible. I got so many ideas. I yeah. need to yeah. make stuff, yeah. and that's actually my goal: just to inspire other people and to create them themselves and. And yeah, That's, go, I, go make stuff. I, I, I have an idea. I want to get with you. I, um, yeah, cool. We need uh, we need a we need a local maker Michigan, uh, maker brick that is like a shadow box with panels. Ooh. As like the like the brick is the frame. Something yeah, like that. Yeah, that'd be fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that would be that would be cool. 
All right. Uh, it is it is after seven. We should jump into some hot it's after we two for him. A lot. Yeah. yeah. Are you going to stick around for hot makes real quick? You don't have yeah, to sure. if you want to go to bed. We understand. But yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm totally awake. <laughs> he's awake. He's awake till he's not. Right. Yeah. We'll come back after the bumper and he'll be sleeping. <laughs> All right. You want to do some hot makes? Let's do it. Let's do it. Hey, before, before we gloss waffle. over that, waffle buns, we need some <laughs> double wide. We need double wide waffle buns. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't want to gloss over that. Seriously, his Patreon membership is so worth it, guys. And that's uh, that's going to be on his link tree that's in the description too. So check it out. If the link works. <laughs> nice. All right, here we go. So the first one we got is uh, Ember Prototypes, naturally, mm -hmm. naturally. Um, really neat example how you can print uh, imprint logos onto your production. Yeah, so, so this is that this is what we were talking about earlier with like the thick coating that transposes yeah. onto the print itself, which is super right. cool. I actually ordered one, like uh, the TD one from Ajax Three. Really? Oh yeah! Look at that. That is so cool. That is cool. I yeah. his stuff is so so cool, and it's very like, clean. Another one, just like well, um, just these are quality giveaways at Rocky Mountain Rep Rep Festival. So Look at that. you know, if you have them, bring them to show them off. Mm -hmm. Um, oh, I love the. I didn't cool. notice the Remurf logo on there too. That's awesome. Yeah. So That's good, awesome. Very cool. I love it. And last but not least of those, there you go. We just saw oh, there we are in person, in person. But now you saw them. Hot makes official, <laughs> <laughs> the hottest of hot makes. Yeah, these are definitely limited edition for um, sure. And fix some dude waffle buns is a great exotic dancer. I'm telling you, <laughs> I'm telling you. Oh, too good, too good. Um. <laughs> <laughs> we're after seven welcome to hot makes after dark uh, all right here we go um final larry final larry final larry jeremy if i could talk it's a real project car Ooh. 3d sets of sakura i i think we talked about this last time um i love the 3d sets models i have a couple and actually I have a, a one in parts sitting right over here and I love the little jack stands. I know that just <laughs> Come that on. adds that extra. Come on, yeah, that's, that's awesome. Cool. This is a, I just uh, I went ahead and searched for that uh, file too. That's a that is a gorgeous file. Is yeah. that car also three D printed? <laughs> yeah, yeah. The whole car is three D printed, and you you print virtually everything but what can't be printed: the electronics, that kind of thing. Um, even the gearboxes are printed. And holy just, crap, this is so such well a cool, designed. Yeah, it's such yeah. a cool um all their designs are really awesome. They have everything from this is the newest one. They have uh trucks and um the one I have in here. Um I think I, I printed the landy or the wow. same. I can't remember. It's a buggy, it's a Volkswagen buggy. It's so cool. Hang on. Um, Jim, I'm gonna we just gotta take a quick moment i'm gonna put i'm gonna yep. put this in the private chat pull this up because i want to i'm blown away with the amount of detail and separate pieces and everything that go into this he put this right into privates um <laughs> 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 all right here you go so this yeah. is the uh, sakura 50 bucks gets you the model um uh, and I'm looking at these pictures dude it. and 50 bucks is that is not Jeez. enough like mm -hmm. there's a yeah, lot all of their models are very reasonably um priced yeah again this is the newest one you get the whole interior dash has you know radio and sliders for your vents and oh man so good a lot of work um, went into go. that one jesus yeah. yeah yeah um your rear there's your rear end there and like i'm um, counting like i see screws shocking. so far i yeah. see screws and springs are the only things that aren't printed yeah so mm -hmm. far um a lot of a lot 
of screws. These are that's actually uh, RC radiator shocks. in there. It's uh, an RC yeah, car. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. need a radiator, silly yeah, goose. Yeah. That's awesome. Uh, <laughs> it does when you want it to look cool. Exactly. Um, yeah. RC R, let's see, RC shocks. Um, like I said, the the gears and everything. There you go. There's the underside. Why is this the first time I've seen any of these? These are gorgeous. Yeah. I never um, seen them either. These are awesome. There you go. It's this is a brushless motor. Oh man. Awesome. And your servos sit up there. Oh, you gotta have some subwoofers, you know. Yep. Yep. Um <laughs> That covers that covers up your battery. There you go, your battery box. Oh, they have an A team van. <laughs> oh yeah, well I it's a it it's can, a van. I love it when a plan comes together. Um, I love that this is a right hand drive for us uh, over here in the across the pond. We'll call it. <laughs> um, I wanted to see. I mean this this car is gorgeous anyway. Look at that. Anyway, but I was hoping they would show. Um, I don't know if they do. I. I was hoping they would show their gear box in here. Jim, but, I'm surprised which, you don't have yeah. like you you've gotten into RC stuff recently, haven't you? I'm surprised you don't have one of these yeah. in the works. I do. I, I have uh three of their models. Um one okay. of them is printed out and it's sitting right over this way. Um and I just need to finish it up. So there's that. But <laughs> yeah, like, uh, RC their... sets. Check Sorry. it out. Oh, go oh, ahead. You're good. No, 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 you're good. I was gonna say RC sets. Check it out. Yeah, one of their one of their models, this truck that kind of looks like Optimus Prime. It's called a Rocky yeah. Dumber. <laughs> the Rocky Dumber. The Rocky Dumber. Yeah. The the Max Team model's awesome. I have that. Uh, yeah. I have the model. I haven't printed that one yet. It's a that's a big heavy model too. It's awesome. Um, and I believe a lot of these are like one sixth scale. Um, mm, so that's a six. big. That's a that's big. Massive. That's massive. Yeah. That's like this big. Yeah, oh, it's big or yeah. bigger. Yeah, I'd have to look. Holy I'm pretty crap. sure there once. <laughs> um, but anyways, Joe, Mike, we got you coming up next. Uh, the multi board. Whoa, that is oh, awesome. Yeah. Oh yeah, that is organization that I do not have. <laughs> that is a uh, organization that I want. What is that light? I like that light too. Tanner, how you doing? Good evening, sir. Um, the yeah, the light is. I mean, yeah. LED looks like it's an LED panel that folds in. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. Some some ring lights, you know. I like the tape holder on the one side. Yeah, yeah. Digging that. multiple gives a little depth I like, there. I like the paint bottle, paint bottle holder. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, and then idea. it looks like above that the paint or like little uh, I don't know what you call them, like the paint trays. Oh yeah, yep. yeah. yeah. The more you look at it, the more you you see things. Yeah, it's like a it's like a right. like a where's Waldo like. Yeah, yeah. The more you look at it, so this reminds me of your double wide um, your double wide drawer. I wonder if you made the triple wide. I didn't. I don't think I saw a triple wide this week. How wide um, can we go? <laughs> how how deep does this rabbit hole go? Uh, I I don't know. I don't know. But uh, Joe, Mike, nice work. Fantastic. Also, I I love uh, Joe Mike. Joe Mike multiboards. <laughs> Joe Mike. I Joe like multiboards. Um, this this one brings <laughs> it back to you, three D printing world. We showed this off in person last time, but it is now uh, live. I believe you can get this. Did we not show? Um, did we not show it live last time? I thought it was already live. When oh, we showed maybe it, it was. Yeah, maybe it was. Maybe it I think was. we already yeah, showed I this. I mean, yeah, yeah I think we definitely we, did because we already. Yeah. Hey, you know what? I'm not going to say no because it's one of my favorite things in the whole world. I might be a little biased. Yeah, though. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so this is a box that opens. There we go. There's the STLs. Um, oh, yeah, I see. So it's a box that Ooh. opens, and, and they made this for Caleb, actually, to hold a ring when he proposed to his uh, fiance. Now fiance, yeah. Now, yeah, yeah. Fiance, see? Ooh. We are fancy French. Huh? Oh! Huh? Oh! Wee <laughs> wee. Oui, oui. Yeah, I like grapes. <laughs> I knew they were designing something from for you, but I didn't see it yet. So cool. It's not the grape. I have uh, a I have an older version of that file too. Mine, I had to like go through all sorts of weird steps to glue it together and make sure everything lined up and stuff. And then and then they modified it and made it easier and then released it to everybody else. So <laughs> hey. But you know what? I was it's the I was the trial by fire. It, it was so gorgeous. You need to <laughs> yeah, it signifies the 
the struggle and the dedication it takes to get to the point where you were going. Hmm? Wow. Hmm? That Jim, that just you like, you like that. That just touched me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're going to keep rolling here. Big Jano. Softy. Uh, <laughs> Big Jano. This is one of many reasons I love tricolor filament. You get crazy results like this. My pyramidal fractal shard. <laughs> what was that word? Pyramidal fractal pyramidal. shard. Is that? I mean, how I'm else going you say to that? try? I'm not going to try to say. Oh, that. yeah. Yeah. Actually, I actually it. had Come to go. On. I'd go to the doctor the other day, have my pyramidal checked out. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's let's have a fun game of uh, words with Christoph. How do you how would you say um <laughs> Okay, I'm I'm going to sleep now. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh look at the time. <laughs> All right. We're gonna look at the pyramidal uh fractal shard. It's That's not shard, cool. it's shard. Um, shard. This is I love. I I just love that. Like you said, the tricolor filament is such a cool thing. I love how I love how with that tricolor filament, when you're looking at it from the top down view, you can clearly see yeah. the three colors, but then the surfaces in between them kind of have a transition color. Mm -hmm. Like you can see some yeah. green between the red and the blue, or between the yellow and yeah. the blue. You know that right. is so cool. That's actually, Every time a, you look at... that's actually a pretty cool little way to um like doing something like that would be a cool way to kind of explain uh like the like intro to color theory, you know, to kids. Right. I might need to print the uh pyramidal <laughs> fractal shard on uh on the LU, like uh OSG. Um, I like it. Nice work, Jano. Speaking oh, of local Maker start, Michigan, uh, we're, <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna start our local make local maker Michigan uh, section. Um, <laughs> always right. on it there's like two or Another three every every wall. time we have an episode there's like two or three more yeah. um and i appreciate see? that he tags us every time man i'm gonna murder that how would you say this <laughs> yeah uh pyramidal yatanen yeah i think so yeah, see. he's from he's from finland i think I was just gonna say you could probably say this way better than I can. So yeah. there you go, <laughs> there you go. That one was for you. Um, awesome. Love that. And all these, all of these maker bricks, if I if I understand correctly, are going to be at Murph, the the Midwest Rep Rep Festival, end of June, uh, towards the end of June. I'm I think it's so second excited. weekend to the last weekend or something. I want so and, badly to do something. Like I want to, I want to make a wall of them and just run through it or something. <laughs> yeah, like like storm through them like the Kool Aid Man, you know, in slow motion. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, this one is. Oh no! Oh yeah! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Uh, here's another one. There you go. And I like the colors uh, on that one. That one's fun. This. This one wasn't one, uh, so come, don't worry. We'll come back to one. Uh, anyways, revolutionize your party with the Viking Horn beer can holder. Look at this. A model you can't ignore. Perfect for pens or pints. <laughs> Conversation starter. There you go. Ooh, that's cool. Nice. Huh? Is that Hold that's a render, there. right? That yeah, is, it looks like uh, a render. Looks like a render. Yeah, I. But so even, though, I don't know if they really. Let's see. Let's, let's go see. Did they? Do we have a real print in here? Oh man! I mean, it's a sweet, it's sweet. I went to that page too, and it's not just this. Scroll down a little bit. There's a Ooh. bunch of cool. Look at Whoa. those. There's now, so many. Now this is sweet. This is the kind of stuff that, like, can you imagine a whole table of people playing D and D, and they just put all their beer <laughs> in one of these? You know? Yeah, yeah. Or just a whole. Uh, Murph or a Rocky Mountain Rep Rep Festival. Everyone walking around with different three D printed can holders. Oh. <laughs> Do it, clashing them, clashing them together. We're all singing yeah, yeah. like bar shanties yeah. or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> oh, jeez. Hey, let's do it. <laughs> Fun. <laughs> I think we should we should try to talk to this person. Um, I don't. I know think so too. Is, I'll reach out to them. But I think their stuff is awesome, and we need to if anybody... uh, have a drink over it. Ha -ha. Um, there you we go. Here's that. Another we one. If we get them on the show, we could we should just print a couple of the uh and just yeah. casually like oh this old thing, like take a drink in the middle of the 
Um, Actually, I just just uh, discovered those bricks like two weeks ago. I was like, hmm, who's this guy making these bricks? The maker like, bricks? Yeah. 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 He already made a couple of uh, a lot of them. Uh, what is he? He's probably getting close to a hundred different ones, right? Jeez. Yeah. In a fury costume. <laughs> oh, here we go with that. No. Oh man, no fury. Only no furry. fury. No furry. Yeah. Um, <laughs> definitely not rented. We're not going pre. We should, we should probably add, Christoph. Do you know what a furry is? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, good. I was like, we're talking this whole time. We're making these jokes, and I go, you know, I didn't I think, even it think last, about it. I think it was last episode. We were talking. I don't know how yeah. it came up, but somebody said that I needed to well, be in a, fur, a chicken costume or something. Clearly, I prefer. said we, we should have uh, Caleb. You're going to be following me, filming at Rocky Mountain Rep, Rep, Rep Festival in a furry costume, and then everybody loved it. So that's you know, I mean, that's <sighs> nope. Come on, nope. Caleb. Come on, <laughs> not happening. Kitty cat costume. There you go. Nope. Mm -hmm. We already ordered it. I can see. No, you didn't. It. I mean, see it from here. Um, <laughs> Battle Cry says Nick Furry. <laughs> <laughs> An <Nice>. Iron Gym. <laughs> Wayne, uh, cosplay potion bottle with a threaded cork. Um, there you go. That's Ooh, sick. that's actually nice filament. That's a very nice filament. Yeah. Does it, do they say what filament that is? Uh, no. Let's go see. Nope. Come on, Wayne. Him? What are you doing? I'm following you. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> Very cool. There you go. Let's see. Let's see if they respond, and we'll 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 find out if they do. Um, I love it. I love that it's a threadable cork in the top too. Yeah, really yeah. Cool. Which would drive me nuts if you didn't tell me it was threaded, because I would be trying to pull it out. You know, and I would be expecting a very satisfying, <laughs> but it definitely is hard if you're in your furry costume, too. Um, stop it, stop it. Wait, Get some somebody help. said, What if it's a Wookiee costume? Now I'm on board. Hey, mm -hmm. I do have a friend who uh, he's in the, the Rebel Legion and he has a, a chewy costume. So, uh, what about a, a Furby? Um, a Furby, I would do a Furby too, just to freak everybody out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Caleb Craft. Uh, here's a little work in progress on my new shoes. My what? favorite shoe is the uh, Onitsuka Tiger. I don't know how to say that. On a, on a the, uh, Onitsuka, yeah, there you Onitsuka. Go. Look at that. How did what is he doing? Is he this draw, like a pen? Draw? Yeah. yeah, I think oh, so. That really cool let's see if i can oh, Brit tag this thank you, there you Brit. Go. jesus yeah. intricate is that i can't tell if it's, it's a pen though because it almost looks like it has a texture to it i think or maybe the that's just has the, the texture yeah maybe that's just from the drawing with the pen and that and the leather so. of the shoe yeah that's cool but, yeah, so good I'll be honest, I, I know he's going to finish the other shoe, but there's something kind of cool about it's there's something kind of cool and unique about having only one shoe, like one shoe is clean and the other one's like hyper designed like that, you know? Right. I kind of like that look. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe. Like I mean, two face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The bad side. <laughs> right, right. I feel like it just, right. I don't know. I feel like it just kind of adds to the adds to the whole like yeah i made this custom thing right if it's just one of them and then one of them's like a stock shoe <laughs> uh my full line of customizable maker chips will be available on also available on things 3d maker love this chips. this is fun mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. oh and they all fit in the case okay cool way to show us all up this is awesome <laughs> this is really cool um, Are these um ones. here? This is another one here. If you designed a maker chip or or chosen from the growing cho chosen chosen from the growing selection, here's a case for you. It's a rugged case with a pop out liner that serves as a display piece. There you go. So are these um are these like standard uh poker chip sized? Like they look like they yeah, they sized. look like it. I mean. Mm -hmm. So is that a 0.2 yeah. nozzle or is it a standard 0.4? Like those are detailed. 
for like a poker chip's only like that big, right? Yeah. Like that's yeah. like look at the QR yeah. code. Yeah, the QR code. That's a code point four pretty, nozzle. I'm impressed. Yeah. Uh, somebody was saying. <laughs> <laughs> Someone saying laser on the shoes, maybe. I don't Ooh. know how you would do that with a laser. Yeah, All shoot, those curved it. Surfaces. Like, shoot it on the shoe. Shoot it. He's gone all in on these maker chips. Fix them, dude. Said. There you go. You got it all in. Hold them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> yeah, he makes some awesome stuff. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, he does. So good. All right. Very, very cool. Keep moving. Keep moving. Um, speaking of... Uh, oh, no. The Bambi fan art. As yeah. soon as I show this to Sarah, we're going to end up... She's going to be like, I need one. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. That's so cool. Oh, it looks like there's a stand for it, too. Maybe. I can't tell. Yeah, there's a stand for it on uh, the, the things post. Looks like it's standing just fine. Well, yeah, but I mean, there's also like a cool little oh, display. Yeah. yeah. With the mushrooms. Yeah. That's, cool. that's awesome. Oh, no. I love that. That no. is so well done. She's so talented. Mm -hmm. oh, well, she we also, um, she was part of the ring box thing too. She made the flower that was on top. Yeah. Nice. I asked that her if she so would come cool. on the show. I asked her if she would come on the show sometime, and she was like, "Oh, I'm I'm too shy to be on camera." And I'm like, "Come on, we got to get you on the show." Just yeah. do it. Yeah, how, how do it. Be too shy to hang out with us geniuses. I know. Um, <laughs> maybe maybe that's I mean, if, maybe if that's Christoph like real reason it, is because she's afraid it. her IQ is going to be just like plummeted into the ground. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually Probably my first true. time on the stream, so and I'm really enjoying it. So good. Nice. I wow. hope the nerves this have settled this is your down. First time, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Well, you're doing great. Like a pro, you could probably take over. Um, Basically, <laughs> yeah. Welcome so, to Hot Mix. This is now yeah. Christoph's show. Um, it will be streaming <laughs> at 4 a.m. from now on yeah. in yeah. U.S. time. Exactly. <laughs> this it's is your turn to stay up late. <laughs> yeah, it's your turn to stay up late. <laughs> <laughs> uh she modeled Bambi Bambi's mom's scene as well. Or has she modeled Bambi's mom's no. scene? <laughs> uh, no. Ouch. Ouch. No. <laughs> Think twice if it forced you to say that. Um yeah, this is a yarn bowl. Um a yarn bowl? What is a yarn bowl? I believe you put your yarn in here and then you can pull it out the other side. I don't know if she shows. Uh, okay, Travis. I don't know. Okay, if show so how it's, to like, use it. no. it's like a curved surface, so it's almost like a filament spool roller for yarn. Yeah. Okay. I believe you oh, yeah. put your yarn back here, and then it like comes up it and it through. like kind of passes through right here. Okay, that's cool. That's very cool. Yeah, very cool. Love it. Love it. Abby, Ma Abby Brown. Abby oh, Math. We love Abby. Abby. Math we got to get Abby back on the show this yeah. year. My son's desire for a um, Vecna print led to. I said that right, right? Vecna. Vecna. Yeah. 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 Print led to his first. I, I questioned myself for a minute there. I was like, yeah, that's right. <laughs> um, first led to his first real lesson in Prusia Slicer. He's so happy with his vision realized. Dark with hints of red and the Polymaker 3D Polyterra poly mixed berries is perfect. Oh. Oh, that looks awesome. Nice. Oh, my. Fantastic. Yeah. Uh, so I have had an issue this week. For the first, I've always oh, been boy. fine about this. I've always been good with this, but now this is twice this week. In the entirety of the time that we've been on the show that I've forgotten to switch accounts before doing things on the different accounts. I made a, I can made a comment the other day from the hot mix <laughs> account that was nice. supposed to be from my, and I just realized this entire time while we're doing the show, when we're going through the hot mix, I like to like and repost them on the hot mix channel or on the hot mix Twitter account. I've been doing that on my personal one this whole time. Nice. Yeah, at <laughs> so, least somebody's doing it. I'll go back. Um, I'll, I'll go back through and do hey, it. <laughs> uh, Liz, what I was just curious how they taste. Um, uh -huh. and which berry and which berries are included? Um, 
<laughs> would be cool if they smell like berries. Ooh. Filament that smells wasn't like somebody, berries. Mm. Wasn't somebody messing around with a scented filament at one point? Yeah, I, I, I think did there was a video a on scented filament. It was um there was, it like was a not coffee. great. And it is not so well there no, that was different. I did a video on scented filament. That's um, right. I remember editing and, that. And it just didn't smell. I even did a taste, I did a, a comparison with my wife to see if she could smell what they were. And I didn't tell her what they were. <laughs> I did a comparison with and my I, wife I to printed, see which one smelled yeah. better. The filament yeah, or my I, wife. <laughs> I printed um I printed uh the same thing, right? And I had her smell each thing. She couldn't she had no, you couldn't tell. Yeah, um, yeah, I remember that. While they were printing it, it you know, while it was warm and printing, you could smell something, but that's it. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna get to print, quantum printer in the future and the past. Dun, dun, dun. So this Whoa. is the quantum kinematics 3D printer uh, from from uh, Maker Viking. Um, there's there's a lot to read here. What is um, going on here? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna is, bring this down a little here. Oh, this was an April first post. Yeah, that's what's going do on. Wanna, okay. Do you want to read it? I'll let you read. Can you read it? What are you gonna make Christoph yeah. read that? No, you. Oh, me. Yeah. Why do I have to read it? Because I. Oh, okay. Oh. Is he's going to grab? I I think no. He's actually going somewhere now. I hate it when he does this. He doesn't give me any heads up, and then just <laughs> leaves me on here. Um, I wish he'd have given me a heads up because I don't know. This is I hate this. This is the worst. <laughs> <laughs> Christoph, did you what? Did you see any kind of crazy fun April Fool's stuff uh, posted online? I know I saw. I didn't see this one, but I saw. Um, did you I see thought, the Lego one? The the huge minion. No, I didn't see that one either. Were they? Were they? Did Lego post it? Yeah, were they it was teasing like, like uh, a... 10, 10, 000 bricks or something like that? It was <laughs> the like largest a... Lego set ever made yeah. for consumer. Like a, huge... a minion of all things. <laughs> yeah, a minion <laughs> with one eye. <laughs> it was it was pretty fun. It was pretty funny. Um, but yeah, I, I April Fools. It's like sometimes you have you are like, is this real or is this a, is this fake? I know it's so hard to believe anything like on april fools and the fun part is like when you like are friends with people or you work with people who don't really do anything goofy or don't, they don't really do any pranking things on april fools so the whole day you're just kind of like on edge for no reason you didn't read it no i told you i didn't want to i didn't want to read it i didn't want to read what? the whole thing that's too much reading i didn't want to read the whole thing <laughs> You can oh read it. TLDR. <laughs> yeah. It's April Fool's joke. <laughs> um, I, I, if I you have time, find now. this find this post and read it. It is great. Maker Viking did a, a funny, a very funny job. Maker on, Viking on is doing this. wonderful. Wonderful. Yeah, the um the Prusa records that was another good one. Um, oh yeah. The Pr Prusa Prusa did one where they were making uh, records. And that yep. was kind of funny. Yeah. Um, I totally believe that. Think. That was one that was believable at first. <laughs> uh, also, I'm trying to think. Oh, TH3D did one where he said they're now yep. offering uh, free support on um, all third party products that you don't buy, that you didn't buy from him. <laughs> <laughs> so if you buy something, just call him and he'll give you support on it. Uh, I, there was a few more. Um, it was it was that it was fun. That was a yeah. lot of fun. Um let's see. Zombie Hunter. Hey. So I had I I stepped away for a second. I had to grab something. Yeah. I what, was, the, what were you I doing? Hugh, I don't know if Hugh Forge is still with us or not, but um we'll another see. We'll see maker is. brick. There it is. Car hub print. Fantastic. There you go. There you go. Welcome to the Maker Brick family. I like the I like that it's a maker brick family. Oh, there's more. There you go. How do you get there's, that there's... brick? I want a brick. <laughs> um, I'm sure well, there's going to be a brick after this episode. Like between yeah. now and next episode, you're going to end up with a brick. Like if I feel like every time we're like, that's cool. This person just should have a brick. He's just boom. There it is. 
Yeah, here's another one. Here's another one. one. Johan. Yeah. Johan. So uh, cool. I'm telling you, he makes so many. Here's another one. Uh no, I'm just joking. Metalhead printing finished another <laughs> God of War. Um, yep. However you say that word. Um, Mjolnir. Mjolnir, yeah. Have you ever okay. even you know, of all the it's, mm, okay. Yeah, Mjolnir. <laughs> Hey, I'm still stuck on sell your oil. All right. Uh, so I remember seeing this post when Brett was like, "It, no joke. It's not a joke. <laughs> it's actually my birthday." That's funny. That is funny. Um, yeah, this is this is awesome. Very. He cool. makes some. Uh, Max is... makes some awesome stuff. We got to get Max on here. Didn't we? Ha- I thought we had him on before. I don't think Metalhead. So. Pretty sure yeah. we had Metalhead on before. No way. No way. We were gonna, but we never did. God, you sound um, like you're from Wisconsin. No way. Up there, <laughs> yeah. Hey, there. Up there. <laughs> the best part is you're not putting on an accent. You're just removing the accent yeah. that you put on for everybody else to sound normal. Oh, I didn't have to, I didn't have time to make my Bug Forge April Fool's joke. <laughs> nice. <laughs> um, uh, Vicky says. Sorry. Uh, Vicky says, with a total eclipse coming up in North America, it felt good t- a good time to reprint one of my designs from the last eclipse in 2017. Uh, I print the middle and color fab glow fill, so these phases of the sun glow. The oh, that's cool. There you go. Yeah. No, that's a cool model. That's yeah. awesome. Nice work. They look like that. Oreos. Yeah, they do. The middle one, especially. <laughs> yeah. I, a matter of fact, I'm starving right now. We should have uh, made a we should have made a hot makes like Oreo post. That's like a the white of the cream and then the cookie just like slowly covering over it. Yeah. Oh, K two. Sorry. Yes. 0. 0.4 nozzle and standard poker chip size. There you go. Okay, that's impressive. That is impressive. Check yeah. this out. Impressive. It's supposed to be like QR code. Man. What is this? What am I've I looking seen, at here? I've seen this. This. Yeah. Oh, are these for uh, are these like underwater things? What's going on here? Underwater things. <laughs> Those are molds, right? Yeah, it's a con concrete tetrapod, tetrapod mold. mold. But what is the tetrapod used for? Tetrapod stuff. No. That's cool. <laughs> that was not. A, that was not an answer, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> but the molds are what do you CD mean printed, so what do you mean what is a tetrapod That's... well now you're gonna Isn't have to look it up do uh yeah i thought it had something to do with water yeah in they put it into the sea to uh to uh stop the waves i think no something like or that yeah it, like breaks yeah not stop the wave but break the the power a bit like dissipate it basically so it doesn't yeah. eat away at the shore yeah, see? But, yeah, Jim. It is a water thing. <laughs> but those are kind of small, so I don't know. <laughs> well, I don't, I've seen pictures of them, but I don't know how big they are in the pictures. So maybe that's the size they are. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Well, somebody needs to look up tetrapod and give us a definition. I Googled right, tetrapod. Next. There you go. Uh, although I wasn't uh, able to get a custom well, build plate this time around, I really appreciate the work hey, of, hey, Google. of hey, Google. prototypes. Stop. Oh, don't tell Google anything. She started telling me what a tetrapod was. <laughs> you should have listened. <laughs> yeah, you should have listened. Yes. <laughs> wow. That's that's coming in hot right there. Uh, uh, let's see. Ember Prototypes is doing it uh, for the three D printing community. Welcome, Ember Prototypes, to the Maker Brick family. Fantastic. You made it. Uh, dude, made it I don't big. know what Ember Prototypes was doing before these beds. I know that there's a couple other products on their website, but like they are just oh, like chicken. rocking it lately. <laughs> Ma, <laughs> oh, the chicken! Oh, the chicken! <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. oh, my God. All right. Finish the Dark Moon Great Sword from Elder. I know Ring, for a fact. Okay. Favorites. I Print recognize in, his face. Um, I know for a fact we've had Metalhead on the show before. Yeah. I think. I don't, I don't think so. Uh, printed in one plate, all in one plate on the P1P uh, Elegoo official, or in Elegoo official P- PETG. 
Uh, added about four feet of three eighths round bar inside for strength. Yeah, yeah. How do I not remember whether or not I've we've had a guest on the show? I thought we had Metalhead on the show before, dude. I don't know. Well, okay, it doesn't matter. Regardless, we need to bring him back. I'm pretty sure. Also, that sword anyway. is no. <laughs> yeah, as the kids. Yeah, he also made like the sword of uh, Final Fantasy VII, Cloud Strife. The big Look at that yeah. painting. Yeah. Also cool. Yeah, he's made so many cool things at um earth or now 3d printopia uh the last couple of years he's had some really <laughs> awesome booth booth uh space there so that's pretty cool local maker michigan here's another one there you go welcome <laughs> to the maker family so many so what does that make six now on this one show uh yeah i don't we even just know. need to break. we just need to have it i'm telling you we need to make it a segment at this point yeah we should. I think we should. Uh, all right. Toy Chest Plus. Update on the cupcake carousel. I did a resign, uh, redesign, and, the, and put lollipop holders. Lollipop? Lollipop holders, bigger trays, and new usable topper. Here's a four I love the colors, video. too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is I giving like me cookie cat vibes. Yeah. Cookie cat That's cool. Yeah. That's so wait, is the big um, size too. yeah? Is the the rotating element of it is that like printed? Is that part of the printed item, or is it sitting on a turntable of some sort? Um, I see some printed feet. Yeah, yeah it's but, like a printed piece down here. So, but it's clearly um, rotating on something. It's not just sliding around the table when they turn it. You know? No, I think he built a turntable. I'm just guessing though. Uh, I mean. Huh. Let's go see. Oh, here we go. Now we're cooking with gas. There, there is a go. turn. There's a stand, like oh, a tree yeah. stand underneath yep. it. Yep. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yep. And it just kind of turns freely on the. Okay. Yeah, that's a sweet nice. idea too. That's looks very like cool. Like they've done a few. Looks like they've done a few of these, by the way. Yeah. So this one's really cool. I love the. I colors. love the. I love the concept of adding the the yeah. like cake. They're the the su but, sucker holder. Lollipop Dude, holders here. Yeah. yeah. Lollipops. So cool. Lollipop. Lolly. Okay. Um, next Lollipop. car print. It's what a, what a, it's the only platform that can be trusted hundred <laughs> percent. Oh, they moved to Colt. I think that's what they said. Um what? let's see. Only platform where all the cars will be found. There you okay. go. Okay. Lots of cars. Lots, Lots of, cars. of cars. Car print. Sweet. Oh, there's some no, printed I... ones. Nope, that's uh, render. So what are... Um... Not sure. Here we go. Caleb Craft. <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> it's um, it's it's almost 3.40 in the morning there. Or Sorry. In the morning. Yeah, I'm um, running out of steam. <laughs> welcome in uh, Giants Among Us. The Caleb... Uh, thank you, Caleb Craft, for all you do for humans. And, and Hang on. You've helped and given your time and talent, too. There's another Caleb? This isn't allowed. There can only be one of us. We're gonna have to fight. Uh, it looks like it looks like there's Caleb Craft. Yeah. Um, Your brick is taken. Also, the person who just had those shoes shown a little bit ago. Yeah. So, I mean, so what you're telling like me that? is, I need to order another. I need to order a pair of those shoes and copy his pattern on the left shoe. <laughs> so we can only be like shoe. polar opposites yeah. of each other. Yeah. <laughs> Um, usually local maker Michigan makes bricks for people who hang out on maker deck or participate in places. He is nice. Nice. That's right. And, um, to be fair, you had a maker brick first. So I did. Yeah, I, mean, I too. Yeah. Well, no, we had, That's so right. we had a hot mix. We had an edge of, yep. edge of tech is you, I, I guess yep. technically, but we had a hot mix, which is both of us. And then he made a Caleb one and then he made a Caleb and Sarah one yep. separately. Okay. Does he also he's share the model? He's a monster. Yeah, um, yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. So I bet you. I'm sure, I he's, bet you, I'm sure he's watching. So yours is probably already done. Probably. <laughs> That's what I was telling you. Like, if he is watching, he's probably yeah. working on it right now. <laughs> <laughs> I bet there's really neat chocolate printer out there that can make this happen. Oh, I love this. Check this out. This is an. This is, is this an a espresso. sausage printer? No, it's an espresso machine. It doesn't <laughs> drop mini sausages out the. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Yes. What? 
I think that's chocolate. That's cool. Yeah, and it melts. Yeah. And it and it yeah, it uh, puts the espresso down. That is so satisfying. Somebody needs oh, to make this on a cocoa press. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, I think that's what they were. I think the the poster was saying that. Oh, so good. That now it's just so kind of satisfying. Over, but yes. Are you kidding cool. me? Okay, we got confirmation. Local maker mission in Michigan is not watching. Nope, not watching. Good. <laughs> Just making sure you weren't here. Um, yeah. <laughs> no, uh, I I love this. It, every bit of this, I love. I love. Chocolate Reminds me of the maze from uh, from uh, Westworld. Yeah, and and uh, basically they said there's a really neat chocolate printer that can make this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So now we need to see it happen. Uh, I thought I was going to go down and see it happen. Ellie, Ellie needs to make this happen because I flip and love it. I love. The last thing uh, you I need love to do it. is bring a any kind of coffee machine to an event that I'm going to be at. Um, I will be at your booth the entire weekend. <laughs> oh. It will happen. <laughs> so it'll just and say it'll free coffee except for Caleb. Yeah. yeah, if you don't want to have a, a furry mascot at your booth, don't bring a coffee maker. <laughs> <laughs> Free, uh, will work for coffee. It's a, a furry on your furry outfit there. Um, yeah, if, if, if I stain it, I'm not going to get my deposit back. So, Yeah, there you go. If you wear the Chewbacca suit, it's brown. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All kinds of new swords dropping and more to come. Uh, hey, this is the same uh, member huh? person from earlier. Yeah, C C L. Here we go. Three D. Yeah. Look at these. So these, it looks like these oh, are meant yeah. to take like pool noodles. Yeah, cool. Like the foam noodles, so you can smack the crap out of people. I think it's for larping. Larping. One of my favorite, uh, one of my favorite moments. Quick little story time. I was at a comic con, and there was a there was a LARPing group there, and uh, <laughs> we uh, their table was back at the back of the at the back of the convention hall where the doors were for like some of the other people to get through. So like I was with the Legion at the time, so we had to get back there to dress in our get dressed in our Star Wars costumes. Um, and every time somebody went back there to go through the doors and those guys were out back there LARPing, somebody would walk up and be like, hey, can we get through? And they would just look at each other and they'd go, car! And then split so that people could walk through. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. I mean, but why not, right? Yeah. Um, oh, this is cute. Sorry, I already jumped on the next one. Sorry. This one, yeah. <laughs> I love this. Mm. Magnets. Cool. Yep. That's adorable. Yes! Magnets! Yeah! <laughs> I love that. I love that it's three. Let's see. There we go. Is it dual sided? Yeah, oh, yeah, it's the three moon. Ones. Yeah, you have the, the sun and then the, both phases here. You know, you have I the, love this. The, this is adorable. Yeah. Is it's awesome. Fantastic. Nice work. All right. Hugh Forge. I don't know if you're still here, but um making use of the amazing ember prototype I'm build plate. For anybody who's still here. Practicing skin tones in the Hugh Forge. Check it out. Very cool. Oh, what? Oh, cool. What? It's insane what you can do with it. So good. How many colors? Oh, that's so good. That has to be. I mean, that has to. They have to stick with like within four colors, right? Or can you do a no. lot of colors? No. Yeah. No, you could. Okay. Yeah, you can do. Whatever. You can do six, seven, eight. That's insane! Look yeah. at the gla like the glassiness of the eyes. But mm -hmm. I think this is about five, five or six colors thing. It's six. 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 Oh, yeah. There you go. And and there you go. By the way, we love your uh fantastic. Design. I absolutely loved yeah. that design. Um but yeah, I, I love this super cool and 
So I'm going to shut that for a second and and we'll we'll end on that note with this. Let's see if you recognize this, Caleb. Okay. Okay. Let's see if you you ready. Go go. I do. I do remember that. Wasn't that what was that? That was your first. Was that your first U Forge Forge thing, or was that? That was the first one we saw, right? First one we showed on the show. Yeah. And and when I met um when I met him at uh, Earth this past year. Yeah. He gave it to me. That's so cool. It's the first the first one. That was the first. Yep, first Hugh Forge he saw in Hot Mix with Courtney. That's right. Courtney was with us. That's right. Um, and that was so awesome. And you got, I don't think and you were you here got for the that one episode, that right? like started that whole Hugh Forge fan fanboying from Hot Mix. Yeah, yeah. This That's this so one, cool. and 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 it started it all. This is the first one we ever saw. I gotta go back um, and find that clip where yeah. like we had no yeah. idea what Huge Forge was and we saw that and our minds were, were blown. You, were you here that week or was it just me and Courtney? Because you might not have been on the show that week. I thought I was. I can't remember. I, I can't remember. remember. It's been, it. Maybe not. Oh, it's been a long time. We probably showed it it's since. It's been then, a but, long time. Yeah. <laughs> getting from there to here. <laughs> I was not <laughs> yeah, on that Caleb. Week. Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought Cor- it was just you, uh, Courtney and I. Huh. Uh, I think you were looking at houses or something last minute. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, that's what or, I was or something like that. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> but, anyways, that was hot makes um ton of them this week. So, so many. don't forget while you're out there in the wild, tag hashtag hot makes like you see below. Boop, boop. Um, we Wait. will we will show right. as many there. as possible, and we will keep our guests uh, up way too late. Um, yeah. <laughs> We've got yeah, uh, um, so our next show is we're we're gonna be at at Rocky Mountain Reprap Festival for our next show. Yeah, we might yeah, we might do a live do show while we're at because we're gonna be flying back, traveling back to our respective homes that <clears throat> Monday. That's supposed to be a show, so we we'll probably do a live show at the event like what we did last year. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah, that'd be fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> do it like we did. Yeah, and last year. Yeah, I keep saying yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah um, I believe we're gonna do. I believe we're gonna do. Um, I believe we were gonna do Sunday. I believe. I believe. I believe. Um, <laughs> whoa! Bless you. Yeah. Um, I don't even know what to say right now. I. You okay? Sorry. Right. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> I'm very. Uh, Sarah's sick, <laughs> so I hope I'm not getting sick now. Uh, me too. We have a week and a half. Well, we do. Yeah. It's, uh, it's the following weekend. It's um, two weeks from now. Yeah, I, I uh, man, I don't know. It's gonna be <laughs> awesome, but it's coming up so fast. Why is Hugh Forge? <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure <laughs> why. Why for what? Who is Zombie Hedgehog? Why is? Yeah. Why is? Um, Where for out here? Now? Oh, there it is! Ridiculous. Um, this is a horn and road it. art. If you if you know this is fabric, it says it looks pretty good. But if you don't, it's hard to tell. I think the square edges are a problem. All printed yep. with That's only it. layered yeah. swaps. So check this out. See if I can. I'm going to get closer to the. Oh wow! Whoa! Yeah. That's not what I thought it was going to. be. Oh my gosh! Yes. Yeah, <laughs> That's always people's reaction when they see these. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, that, that's that's, that's where it started. So uh, you have the infamous Hugh Ford. Actually, have it. It. If you print those in the beginning, it's like this is going nowhere. This is not working. Yeah. And yeah. Layer by layer, it's like oh yep. oh the magic is happening. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> it is. It's exactly like that too. Like the first one I did, I was like. Oh no, this is not great. I don't know what I did wrong. You know, and then by the end of it, it's like, oh, this is awesome. Uh yeah. so and then sometimes it's not because the colors are wrong, yeah. but <laughs> but it's fun to do. Um, but yeah, there you go. 
<laughs> that's fair <laughs> yeah that is true true um all right we got to get rolling it is super late here we're almost two, we're almost two hours in but um mm-hmm. thank you guys so much for for being here um i'm gonna come back to you in a second christoph uh thank you guys for the donations tonight we really appreciate yes. that as well um two weeks like caleb said we're gonna go live on the sunday before sunday the, sunday yeah because we won't be home, tra- we won't be home from traveling yet um, on Monday. So we're going to go live from Rocky Mountain Rep Rep Festival. We're going to figure it out. Um, we do have Dan some cool Adams guests coming kid. on when we come back. We've got some cool guests lined up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We have uh, Sam's Forge is coming up. Ember Prototypes is going to join us um, at mm. some point. Uh, 3D print, uh, 3D printing world is going to join us at one point. We just haven't we haven't settled on a date on that one yet. You just had to bother him like you did, Christoph. Yeah, basically, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I've bothered him enough it. over the ring it. box and stuff. That's so good. Um, awesome. Well, before we go, uh, again, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for staying up late. And it's almost three in the morning for you. Um, Seriously, can you tell you. us, we're, we're going to give you the floor. Who who are you? What do you do? And most importantly, where can we find your stuff? Um, Christoph, that's, uh, known as the Crafty Maker. Mostly known for uh, designing shadow boxes and now the stained glass pieces. And you can find uh, my link tree uh, in the description, I guess. Yep. Um, yep. And the models are all on printables, tanks, skulls, and Maker World mostly. And I also have a patron uh, for the more exclusive uh, uh, models, which is very much worth it. Because there's, I mean, there, you you release a lot of the really cool stuff out there for free on the on the on the public sites but the getting to see your process getting the previews of new things and then also the exclusive models are just even cooler on your patreon yep i also have a commercial license tiers for uh mm-hmm. oh nice that's for cool people who would like to mm-hmm. sell like to sell the prints oh i like yeah, it spending, uh, well again dropping, thank you so much for being here and link in the chat again <laughs> yeah thank yeah, you so much for being here we appreciate it um, it was really fun else, for Caleb? the first time <laughs> yeah no thank you yeah congrats on your first stream man. there we go uh, you yeah. did awesome and hopefully we didn't uh you know it wasn't it wasn't too hard it was it was pretty chill for you <laughs> so now so now what we need to do is we need to have christoph uh be the primary host and showrunner for a belgian edition of hot mm. makes Something, yeah. something for the European crowd that happens, you know, not at three a.m. for them. Get a chocolate. So we're gonna start franchising. We we're gonna start franchising hot makes, basically. <laughs> oh, I was like spanning the links on my socials, and then the people yeah, I know is mostly in, in Europe, and they're like, "What be at one one a.m.? That's too late for me. <laughs> I will see. <laughs> well, I will see it offline." It. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's the cool part is this, literally as soon as we stop this live stream, it's going up on YouTube as a regular video that people can watch. Cool, cool. Absolutely. Well, stick around with us. Don't don't go anywhere. I have one more thing to talk to you about when we jump off. Um, everybody else, thank you guys so much for being here. We really appreciate it. Uh, we love being here. We love showing your stuff. So don't forget to find the cool stuff. Hashtag hot makes and but, uh, Belgian waffle buns. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but hashtag hot makes. We're going to find more stuff. Don't worry. By the next time. Well, maybe not next time we meet because we'll be in uh, we'll be in Colorado. But the following time, we're probably going to have a local maker Michigan se- segment. So um, <laughs> we'll just put Tim, it all in and just. Yeah, I don't know why I it, it just hit me. I'm going to get to see you in two weeks. I'm yeah. excited. I'm less excited. Less than two weeks. Less than, less than two weeks. I'm going to get yeah. to see Jim again. Yeah. Well, yeah, you'll see the taillights when I leave you at the airport. Oh! Ah, <laughs> <just joking>. Wow. <laughs> guys, have a I great have a great my Oreo night, back everybody. The store, then. <laughs> Don't worry. I have to go pick up the furry costume before you get in. Um, um, anyways, have a great night, everybody. I get we'll in the rental car, and I'm like, again. what's that smell? <laughs> in two weeks we'll see you uh we'll see you again here in a couple weeks and have a great week or a couple weeks and hashtag hot makes we love y'all see you later thanks guys (laughs) bye everybody (laughs) bye bye all right i